Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be installing a Vitesse Motorsports throttle controller in a 2009 C6 Corvette, and I'm going to walk you through each of one of the steps. Okay, so the throttle controller is going to connect to the, uh, there's an electrical connection up here on the gas pedal, but there's a panel up here that, uh, this plastic panel, we're going to have to move that out of the way. If you look underneath at the panel, you can see that there's about three or four of these uh, plastic buttons here. And there's one there, and there's one over here, and there's one over here by the light up here. And we're going to take those out with a uh, remove, trim remover. Okay, so what you want to do is get your trim remover and get it under each one of those tabs. And you're going to slowly pry this plastic put button out for each one of those. And uh, be careful not to crack the plastic. You can replace these, but it's a little bit easier if you just take your time and just pry them out. Okay. So we have uh, those three tabs that I pried out with the trim removal tool. Those three of those, the panel dropped down. You can see it's laying down there now. And if we look up there, we can see right here is the uh, connector on the gas pedal. And what we're gonna have to do is that light gray tab, we're gonna have to push in on the right side of it. There's a little tab. Uh, I'll see if I can get a picture of that. And we have to push that in to take that. That kind of holds the whole connector on. So you have to remove that gray tab first. Okay, so there's a little tab on this gray connect. This gray thing holds the tab. You can see right in the center here, there's a little tab. It'll be easier once I pull it off to show you, but that's basically what you gotta push that in, and then you can slide this gray thing up. All right, so I wasn't able to get that a gray clip off. It's just too hard to access. Some people are able to get it, but the other option is to take the two 13 millimeter bolts out off of the uh, gas pedal so you can pull that out and be able to access the clip. So I'm going to do that with a long extension, a universal joint, and a 13 millimeter. And as you can see up in here, here's the two bolts we're talking about, which is this one here on the bottom. And the other one's kind of hidden back here, right here. Um, fingers on it behind there. So we get those two out with the um, socket wrench. Alright, so that was easy enough. Take those two bolts out. You can see the one at the top, the hole there, the one at the bottom, and then the gas pedal just drops right down. So um, now all we have to do is take this clip off. So that's a better shot of the clip there. We're just going to push that center clip in. We'll probably need two hands to do this. It's going to be hard to videotape. I record this so uh, I'm gonna push in there and then slide this up okay so you can see that this uh, once I push the pin in I can just pull this out here um, now the, the connector still on there so what we're gonna do is uh, this tab right here in the center we're gonna push that down and we're gonna pull the um, I don't know if I can do it one-handed there we go so I was able to even do that one-handed so there's your uh, connector. So now what we're going to do is uh, put the Vitesse in between th this one and this one. It just kind of goes right in between those two and we'll connect that up. We have the Vitesse in here. Um, here's the gas pedal. I'm just going to connect that on there. Make sure it's in there all the way here, click. Okay, a little bit of a click on that. And then we're gonna put our, don't forget to put your gray connector back on there to make sure that it doesn't come out. You know, lock that in there. Let's lock that in there. And then the other end goes up here and you can feel that click in as well. A little bit of a click there. So now it's all connected. The next thing that I'm just gonna uh, bolt the gas pedal back. So 
So the last thing I'm doing is uh, I just need to tighten up the 13 millimeter bolts on the gas pedal. And that's it. Now the rest of it is just hanging loose for right now. Um, but we can calibrate it and get it working. You can see that this part here, um, I'm going to use some double sided tape and stick it up under the dash somewhere and keep it out of the way, keep the wires out of the way. The other end of it is the uh, controller unit. So I'm going to look for a good place to mount that. I might put it in the ashtray or in the, somewhere near the console, but, uh, for right now, I'm going to calibrate it and get it working, and then I'll worry about the installation after that. So that's it, really. The only other thing, um, look, I'm not going to walk through all the, the calibration, because that's in the instructions, and it might change a little bit, depending on the one that you have. The only other thing is when I pull down the panel, you want to probably remove this light off here. There's a little black clip that slides out, and then you can uh, just pry out these two tabs here on both sides. And the light will the light will drop out, and then you can just pull the panel out of the way. And that's it, really. The um, just to recap, the the tools I used were just a trim panel remover to pry out those plastic um, tabs for the panel underneath. I used some small screwdrivers to push the electrical connectors or get that light out of the panel. And then um, I wouldn't even bother trying to get the clip out until I took the um, gas pedal out. That's The gas pedal is very easy to take out. It's just those two bolts, and I didn't even really need the universal uh, joint here. I just had this long extension with the 13 millimeter, and it's very easy to, to take out that gas pedal. So that's it. All right, so I went ahead and mounted the control unit up under the uh, on the driver's side, on the right side near the um, gas pedal that's stuck up under there on the heater ductwork with some uh, velcro tape and then I ran the wires um, through the side of the center console here and I actually put a hole inside here had to take the uh, remove the center console a little bit so I could get that hole in there and run the wire out here and then I mounted the, the uh, control unit here in the uh, center console so it's kind of hidden out of view and then I can still access it easily and that's just held onto the back there with velcro as well and that seems to be working out well.